What's going on YouTube? Warstorm here coming at you guys with another video today. Now first off, before I get the name topic of this video, I just wanted to say straight up to you guys, I just apologize for just the lack of uploads over the past few um, month or so. I just, typically what tends to happen is I get home from work, work has been kind of frustrating lately, I get home, I literally just do not feel like doing any YouTube related content. That's not to say I'm uninterested in the game. I don't play the game. I mean, anymore. I mean, heck. I've got. I have a Dark Magician deck right here, ready to profile for you guys, and it's going to be going up this week. It's just. I just have not felt up to uploading, and I super apologize for you guys for that. I get home, I am tired, I'm exhausted, I just haven't felt like uploading because it's like a second job it really is um, especially with the amount of editing and stuff i'm wanting to do now it takes more time um but for the and i can't really host a huge tournament for you guys like i want to do if i can't you guys can't expect me to upload the videos from the tournament on a consistent basis so i'm just apologizing for you guys admitting you know there's no other responsibility but me i can make all the excuses in the world but at the end of the day it is me and my inability to just be up for uploading consistently for you guys and i apologize for that because that is all on me because i feel like there's got to be some responsibility taken when it comes to you know me making this channel better but changes i'm hoping to be making in the next few weeks i'm going to be adding a little bit more I'm hoping to be adding more background music to the videos, just some kind of light music to the background. Um, I'm going to be doing that in the future so you guys can notice and see if you like it. If you guys like it, I definitely will keep it. I'm also experimenting with my deck profile angles, making it a little wider so you guys can see like the entire um, deck deck as I'm profiling it rather than going three cards, two cards, and you know, I feel like there's a different way to do deck profiles. I feel like that's better for you guys as the viewer. So I'm going to experiment with that and see if you guys like it. Because it's actually, I think, of something really a little bit different to how help you guys kind of. And I'm also going to be updating a few little other things in the channel. I'm hoping to be adding a new um, intro video for the channel and some other things. But I just, Paul, I'm just as mostly for the beginning part of this video. I'm going to be apologizing for you guys just because. It's on me for not uploading on a consistent basis, and I'm sorry about that. It's just work. Just I get home from work, and I literally just don't feel like doing anything other than turning on my PS4 and finding a game to play. Um, and streaming on that is something I can do more often as well. I'd love to do it, um, but we will see. If you guys really want to see that, it's absolutely something I can do. I do want to start streaming Yu-Gi-Oh! more on Twitch, because it doesn't really... It's something I want to do maybe like once a week. But I'm hoping to be able to do that. But um, there's going to be more videos this week, I promise. I'm going to have Dark Mission Nick profile be going up very, very soon. Um, I'm go going to be doing a um, couple of other videos on a few, a few other channels talking about the CGC tournament. Yes, it's going. It's happening. It's just got a matter of time. I've got to make sure I've got you know content for you guys first because I don't think I think it's up to me to make sure you guys are getting consistent content before I start planning a huge big tournament. So, anyways, uh, the main topic of this video is now that we're about we're talking about link summoning and Master Rule Four and kind of seeing where we're at at this point and asking the question is did master rule 4 kill dex so the main reason this topic came up was that um i was in a zodiac duelist thread um and it's on there you guys can read it it's on a post where a guy was asking um what was he asking he was asking why locals are declining in the Yu-Gi-Oh, and he has num he has some numbers on his end to back it up why is Yu-Gi-Oh declining on the local level and a guy said that he felt that master rule 4 has affected the deck and the whole thread started with a guy talking about his deck uh, and um why it is unviable in master rule 4 and um he was playing, I think, a Hero Gate deck, and it's not to say a Hero Gate is necessarily in a bad deck. I said that any deck, I think, can be built to play in, but the fact is, it is uh, Master Rule 4. I feel like Links in general, I really do like them. This comes from, you know, 
comes from a spiral player's angle. I really do like Master Rule 4. Initially, I was not very happy about it because I felt it would kill off decks. But I've seen a lot of, of I've just seen enough of videos from people that are playing a lot of older decks in Master Rule 4 that as we've gotten more link monsters, more decks have become more playable. Thing now, granted, not everyone can access some of these link monsters, but we have, you know. Cards like Skull Dread, cards like Borla Dragon, cards like Firewall Dragon that are really strong. We're, we're getting more and more generic Link monsters as time goes on. And honestly, I think for, for the most part, Link Summoning has been relatively good for the game. But more to, so to answer, like I feel like Link monsters in general are... Um, Outside of Firewall Dragon, I think Konami has done a fantastic job designing a lot of these cards. I look at something like uh, Skull Dread, which Skull Dread is a really powerful card. You use four monsters and you generate a plus one that allows you to put things back in the deck. That is incredibly powerful, but you still have to use four monsters to get that effect. Outside of Firewall Dragon, I think Konami has done a really good job. Um, I look at a card like Akashic Magician, which its effect... It's a fact you can only link summon it once. I think it ha once per turn, so it really restricts some of the you being able to you know mill use your mill effect multiple times in a turn. I feel like Konami overall has done a pretty good job designing link monsters. Obviously, Double Helix is an incredibly strong card that puts spirals on a whole other map. But at the same time, um, it is it. It is a well-designed card, I think. Uh, is it a little bit broken? Yes. But I look at more something like Firewall Dragon that goes into all these nutty things than something like Double Helix, which is just a really strong Link monster that fixes every problem that particular deck has. And did Link Summoning completely kill decks? I think the biggest answer to this question is absolutely not. Um, you... I feel like you as the player have all the power at the tip of your fingers to make something work and make something work in Link Summoning. I'm going to give you guys an example of something I came up with for like Balan Boxers. Now Balan Boxers are one of my first decks. I haven't played it in a very long time. You guys haven't seen a profile for it for a long time because I've kind of moved on from the deck. I've kind of accepted the deck's flaws, accepted its weaknesses, but at the same time, you know, theoretically, I can come up with theoretical combos to make the deck effectively function under Master Rule 4. So one example of a three card combo I came up with was any Battle and Boxer monster plus Inferno Reckless Summon plus Spar equals an Asolda plus a, plus a rank four. And for a deck that's, you know, as dated as Battle and Boxers are with the problems that it has, such as Switch Hitter having all its restrictions to, you know, the deck, you know, mostly relying on Lady Oak. Um, for, a, for an older deck like that, to be able to end on a three card combo like that is pretty good. And... I feel like if I can come up with something for an old deck like that to make it function under Master Rule 4, then anything is possible. Um, my whole thing is, is that if a deck is dead, quote unquote, because of Master Rule 4, it's more than likely that it was dead already. And a, a deck like Battle and Boxers effectively is dead in terms of being a viable deck. Same thing with one of my other decks that's not really affected by Master Rule 4. One of my favorite decks is Dark Worlds. I like the deck a lot, but I've accepted that the deck has its flaws, so I wouldn't really bother, you know, updating it for a recent profile because the deck has its flaws and it has its problems, and it's not really playable, and, it, and it's, although it's not affected by Master Rule 4, it's not very playable. So, I think that if a deck is dead due to Master Rule 4, it's on you as the player to find a way to make it work, but if it's not viable, it's not unviable because of summoning mechanic, it's vi unviable because it is dead, was dead already. A lot of these people who are playing some of these older decks that are supposedly dead under Link Summoning are the last people to find out that their deck was more than likely effectively dead already. It's just Master Rule 4 exposed this problem, and that's one of the reasons why I think, you know, Player, that's one of the thing, reasons people don't like Master Rule 4, because it forces them to play their deck differently and update it and bring it into a new era, or simply play a different deck. Now, we've all been had these times where we've been forced to do this. Um, you know, you, we, you guys remember the land list we had where Construct, Sh Scout, and all these other cards were hit. I feel that basically was Konami saying, you need to play another deck. And um, I... And me personally, I had this when Deng Long was banned. I spent month I've been I think about a month getting that Zephra list ready and updated and getting it fixed and finding a build I really liked. And then Deng Long was banned. And 
I'm not saying it's unplayable now, but it's not as good as it. It's not nearly what it was with Dang Long. So like, I've been test. I have been testing Angzings, trying to find something that works. But at the end of the day, um, you as a player have all the power in your hand to make something work. You, but at the same time you have to accept that if it's not the rule change that can make a deck dead it is the fact that the deck was probably not very good to begin with or it is your as the players unwillingness to make something work so anyway guys it about comes to the end of the video today let me know what you guys think of this topic down in the comment section down below and as always I thank you guys for watching so Orstorm signing out